Hey guys, welcome to Hey Guys and Internet Obsessed Podcast, where we just discuss all your favorite social media stars. I am your host, Amanda Hasica, and today I am joined by Chloe Lukasiak. Hi. How are you? Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you have like so much going on. You're like the busiest person alive, I feel. So you're back on Dance Moms this season after taking a little bit of a break. Yes. Um, what was it like to come back? Was it, Were you nervous? Were you excited? Yeah, I was pretty nervous. Um, I, I mean, I left so abruptly and then I was gone for two years and I kind of just started to do my own thing and I got used to that life. And then <sighs> thing after thing happened and I eventually ended up back on my show. Thing mm -hmm. after thing. <laughs> a lot, like events after like, a lot, a lot happened. Yes, between, a lot happened, between and, now and then. <laughs> I ended up back on the show, and I was pretty nervous because I wasn't like training like I had been. I wasn't dancing every day like I was, so I was a little bit nervous that I wasn't going to be on the same level that I was before. And I have no shame in saying that because had I been training every single day, I mm -hmm. think yes, I would have. But I took a break. I started acting. Um, I wrote a book. I was doing school. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been doing a lot since then. And I'm really proud that I got to have all those, like, well, I'm really grateful that I had all, all those opportunities to try different things. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was pretty nervous. And then I went back and it was a little bit weird, but it was good. Yeah. Was it kind of like no time had passed or did it feel very different than it had before? Um. My mom always says that like when we went back, it was like nothing had changed and no time had passed. But in my opinion, it was like I was I've grown up as a, as <laughs> I can't talk. I'm sorry. I'm losing <laughs> my fine. mind. You're fine. The other girls did as well. So it was kind of weird trying to figure out where I fit into this dance mom circle because mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like I just didn't know if I fit anymore. But then, you know, we started hanging out again and I was with them every day and it just kind of fell into place. Yeah. So yeah. yeah it was and good. you guys have like a new dance, a new dance coach, Cheryl Burke from yes. Dancing with the Stars. How has it been working with her? Oh, it's been amazing. She's incredible, and her her assistant, right? Yeah, Ryan Ramirez. Uh, she is incredible. Both of them, I love to death. Um, they. It was so refreshing because she came in and she. She was like, I've never watched the show before, but I'm here and I have a job to do. And she had a notebook and she had plans for all of us. And I was like, OK, mm -hmm. OK, <laughs> like yeah. this new person's here. And I was kind of nervous because she seemed a little bit more strict and she definitely knew what she was doing. But over those past couple, those past couple of weeks, she kind of became like a big sister mm -hmm. mom type to me. And she was so encouraging and really just wanted to bring out the best in each of us, which mm -hmm. was so it was just like I said, refreshing. Mm -hmm. And so she's obviously a pro on Dancing with the Stars. And I feel like, I mean, you're known for dancing, but I feel like Dancing with the Stars has like gone away with like, you know, people who actually, like I feel like people who have dance background are actually allowed to be on Dancing with the Stars. Is that something you would ever do? Do or yeah. think of? Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, ice skate. Like Nastia Lucan was on it. She's an yeah. ice skater. That's like kind of the same yeah. thing. No, but I love Nastia, so yeah. <laughs> I think that about her. No, but yeah. um, yeah, I'd definitely be interested. In maybe even being a judge. That would be oh, kind of cool. That would be fun. Yeah. I mean, you have a good connection, so I feel <laughs> like <laughs> right. Um, what was like one of the most surprising things about going back? Would you say one of the most surprising things? Like something um, you did not expect. You know, I don't know if it was surprising as just different. The girls and I definitely had more of a voice and I keep repeating myself, but it's true. It was crazy because I went back and I was so used to being told to like keep my opinions to myself mm -hmm. and just letting the moms work it out and talk for us. And our teachers like our teacher and our moms would work it out and we would just kind of stand there and not be able to say anything. And we definitely had a voice and we got to speak up and say what we did and didn't like or what we didn't did and just <laughs> I can't talk again. You're what we fine. agreed with and what we didn't agree with. So mm -hmm. it was really, really great. Mm -hmm. And so in addition to being back on Dance Moms, you also have like a digital series called Chloe Does It. Yes. That, it you get to do, you were like scooping cookie dough, was Yeah. It? That <laughs> looked so good. It is so good. You should order it. I'm telling everyone I you need to order it. Gonna, I'm going to do that right when we're done with this. <laughs> I'll be the first thing I do. Yeah, it's so called dough. 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 Yeah, with like a little O yeah, yeah, thing over like it. So... Um, you do stuff like that. And then there was another one where I'm blanking on what you were doing, but you do all these fun, yeah. fun things. Tell me all about it. Um, I love Chloe Does It because it's, in a way it's similar to YouTube, but um, I had, 
my supporters, my fans, um, <laughs> they comment what they want to see me do. Mm -hmm. And I just, I love it so much because I feel like it's more of a collaborative thing and it's mm -hmm. not just me putting videos out there thinking like, oh, maybe this would be trendy or maybe you guys will like it. And it, fans have good ideas. They like, do, they really such good ideas. Like, like I see why YouTubers are like, what do you want to see me do next? Because yeah. sometimes you can get like kind of a creative block. Right, and exactly. So when people are like, telling you what to do, you're like, and they That's just great. keep doing the same videos. Yeah. And everyone's like, I don't want to see this anymore. So it's great whenever like they just putting their ideas out there. And I, was, I never think of half of the things they suggest, but mm -hmm. it's it's great. And I feel like. I feel like maybe they'll appreciate it even more since they were a part of that process mm -hmm. and it's not just me being like this is what I'm watch gonna this do. video yeah. yeah well so you've taken like a little bit of a step back from YouTube it seems where you like it, I mean you've been so busy I can mm. totally understand why um, is like are you planning on ramping up your YouTube again or yeah what's the plan? I hope so I love doing YouTube it's just it's such a I want to say easy but it's an easy thing to put out there I mean editing it yes it's hard but mm -hmm. I just love being able to be so like con so connected with my fans because even though Chloe does it, it's the same concept, kind of the same yeah, yeah concept. Um, I just feel like it's really another way for us to connect. And I have kind of fallen off the YouTube bandwagon, it happens, but you know? I, I've just been crazy busy with dance moms and then with finishing school and and filming um, this new movie I just did, Freddie. So hopefully around like the holidays, I'll start filming again because mm -hmm. that's when I'm back in Pittsburgh, not really doing much. This mm -hmm. the city is kind of slowed down. So mm -hmm. so tell me, like, Freddie, you filmed a movie. What? Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, okay. So it's about a robot. It's kind of like got ET vibes. That's what I tell everyone. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's ET not the, the same robot. level, yeah. but yeah robot um it was really fun the robot is so cute he has this little like things that pop him they look like <laughs> ears I'm like it's like a dog I like, love him. Take this home with me <laughs> <laughs> yeah um no but it was great I f it was filmed in Arkansas which was a little bit I never thought no, I'd yeah. film there but <laughs> it was just crazy I showed up and I was like hmm Arkansas. there's a cow yeah um <laughs> yeah not like oh there's a cow but like yeah. I don't know just like such a random town yeah. um and so it was really fun. I played the best friend of the love interest, mm -hmm. and they're already talking about a second film, so oh. that's exciting. So who else is in it with you? Um, let's see. Well, uh, Lucia. Um, just my, they're like my friends now. We yeah, got yeah, so yeah. close on set. So uh, Lucia's Cashmere Reed. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I because I was gonna say like you know obviously filming in Arkansas, there probably was a lot of good experience to like bond with each other because yeah. there's not a ton to do. So like, what yeah. kind of stuff would you guys do offset? Well, I actually only filmed three days, so I was mm. there for a very short oh, okay. amount of time, and I came I think two weeks after they started filming, which I was oh. really nervous about because every movie I've done so far, I've been there from the beginning. And so, so coming you didn't on, know there would be like clicks or whatever, right, and that, like there are already be a friend group, and right. I'd be like on the outside. No, but they were so welcoming. It's I'm actually like best friends with them now. Yeah. If, I, if I do say so myself, yeah. um, we go, we hang out all the time. We go to the beach, so it's been really wonderful. And they were like I said, they were very welcoming. We went and saw fireworks because it was Fourth of July. Oh, we went so to fun. the we went to the mall. So yeah, it was great. So when does that come out? Do you know? Is there I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, sometimes it, it. it's so hard. Like. There's always that YouTube joke of like, when people are like, stay tuned, but it's like, I really, you know, sometimes it's like, they don't know. Like, yeah. you don't know when it's gonna come out. I have no idea, just stay tuned. Literally <laughs> stay tuned. Um, so you also are working on the clothing line, correct? Yes. Like literally everything I'm naming off that you're doing, it's like, you make me feel like I do nothing with my no, life. No. <laughs> so w tell me a little bit about the clothing line. Um, let's see, well, we're still talking about it. I'm not talking about it, it's in, it's in the works, but, um, I think it's very true to my style, very mm -hmm. comfortable, kind of hopefully trendy, I yeah. hope. Um, yeah, just pieces that I feel comfortable and confident in and that I hope other people will too. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely u unique, I think, yeah. I hope. Um, Who yeah. are some style people, like in terms of like people on Instagram or anything like that? Are there people that you kind of consider like style icons? For me, it's Blake Lively and Zendaya. Mm. Those are great. Yeah. Uh, she, what she ordered at the Teen Choice Awards, like pajamas, basically. Yeah. She looked amazing. I know. She was incredible. I saw her, like, in person because she was, like, over there. It was like, she's, why is she always, like, like killing How is it? she so perfect? Yeah. <laughs> well, so speaking of the Teen Choice Awards, those were um, a couple weeks ago, but you went. So how was it? Like, what were your fun run-ins? Like, what was it like? It was so fun. I mean, it's always so good to meet new people, catch up with old friends. So I finally got to meet Millie Bobby Brown. Oh and my gosh, she was, she's yes. incredible. I actually, my mom met her a couple years ago before, before any of that really happened. Mm. And it was, sh I, I don't, I don't, 
I didn't I, ne- I didn't meet her, but we follow each other on social media. So I was like, and when I met her, oh, I was like, lucky. so I've been stalking you on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> is it, isn't she friends with like Maddie Ziegler? They're pretty yeah, close, right? I so think so. Yeah. That's so funny how like it that, just, who who how that came to be. Who knows? But it's yeah, it's so such funny. a small world. Everyone knows everyone in mm-hmm. this in this town. But um, yeah, she was so sweet, and I got to see some old friends and. I got to sit with the Dance Films girls for the first time in two years, so that was really fun. Like oh, our cool. last little hurrah. If mm-hmm. this is the last season, we'll see. Yeah. Ooh, so you think it might be the last season, or possibly? Yeah. I mean, you never know what could it's happen. It's been like seven. I never thought I'd show back up on Dance Films, <laughs> so maybe that's that'll be very the next season. Because it's been on for like seven seasons, yeah. right? That's a yeah. long time. It is a long time. But sometimes it's like you just got not as long as Grey's Anatomy, though. That's Sorry true. For Grey's Anatomy has been on for like fourteen 20, seasons, twenty-seven seasons. Um, <laughs> but I mean, sometimes it's kind of like give the people what they want if they. Yeah. want more dance moms then you know who knows maybe one maybe like this can be the last season and then they'll come back and reboot it because they reboot everything and then maybe you can be the coach That's or what if I'm like what if we all have kids and then it's like yeah. our moms are dance grandmas and then yeah. we're dance moms and then it's our <laughs> poor kids oh my god dance, dance grandmas yeah That's so funny. <laughs> that would be hilarious let's, let's do it <laughs> um, and so you mentioned a book right so mm-hmm. tell me about the book Okay, my book, it's called Girl on Point, Chloe's Guide to Taking on the World. Mm -hmm. Um, I am so, so excited about it. It's a project very close to my heart because I've always been a huge, huge reader and writer growing up. And I just, and then I got kind of thrown into this world and then I had the opportunity to write a book and I was like, yes, please. Like, Mm -hmm. I love that. So it's kind of like behind the scenes on Dance on dance Moms, what you did see, what you didn't see, um, pictures that people have never seen before with the girls and I. Um, back in s- the beginning of sophomore year, I took a, ri- a creative writing class mm-hmm. because it's something I'm interested in. And I wrote some short pieces, some fiction and some poetry and stuff. And I thought I'd never see it again. And they were like, no, we want it in the book. I was like, oh, wow. oh gosh, <laughs> I was so nervous. But um, no, I'm really excited to have it in there. So hopefully, hopefully people like it. I like to think that as kind of like an inspiration, self-help advice book. That's so That's cool. Yeah. That's really exciting. I hope people enjoy it. Well, yeah. Well, so when does that come out? Uh, co- uh, hmm. It comes out January 23rd, but you can pre-order it on Amazon right now. Oh, so everyone go do that. Um, so kind of going back to your YouTube channel a little mm-hmm. bit. So do you remember like uploading your very first video ever to YouTube? I actually, funny enough, I don't have a very good memory, and I do. I remember like one of the first videos I filmed was like, maybe a makeup tutorial or something. Mm -hmm. I think my sister gave me a makeover. Maybe it was like my third video, not my first one, but like one in the beginning, one in the beginning. And my sister was giving me a makeover and we had this like really crappy camera that we were filming it on. And I just remember watching it and I was like, this is great. And then I look back and I'm like, that was awful. (laughs) What kind of made you like decide to upload it, like a video to YouTube? Um, my mom was helping me at the time and I don't know, like obviously YouTube wasn't super huge at the time, but it was starting to become a thing and I was like, yeah, that would be so fun. And we had just left the show. So I was like, this is another way for me to stay connected with my fans even after leaving. And yeah. And then after that, I just kept filming and then I filmed some of like some vlog type videos and Mm -hmm. I just kept going and I was like, I love this. And then finally got the hang of it and my videos started to look decent. Mm -hmm. I know it's funny to kind of go back and look at the really old, yeah. old stuff of old YouTubers. And yeah. It's just like how far you've come. TBT. Yeah. And so your number one, and so kind of your first video we talked about a little bit. So there's also your most viewed video ever, which is your morning routine winter. You uploaded it like two years ago, has over 12 million views. I didn't know that yeah. many. So when you uploaded that, like, did you have an idea that this would be super popular? Like no, how, yeah. not at all. I was just doing it because... Because um, routine videos are like really yeah, popular. Yeah, so. they are really popular. And I think that's why I did it. And yeah. um, But for it to be like that I popular, think people are like, also what? requesting it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so I just, I was like, okay, I'll film it. And there's a really funny part of that video where I'm, I'm like doing my makeup or something. And I've I have, we have this one room with bunk beds and she like fell from the top bunk. And then I just like looked up and it, I don't know why, but people love that. <laughs> <laughs> like I always like go on like the stats and I look and they're always like rewinding at that one part. I'm like, okay, I didn't know it was this funny. That's really funny. But yeah. Um, 
yeah, because I just always think it's so interesting to kind of like how you got from point A to point B. Yeah, of, like it's crazy. You to know, watch filming that totally. Yeah. Um, are there YouTubers that you are into that you you know keep up with? Honestly, the only person I really watch is Zoella. Oh I yeah. I love her videos, especially because she loves like fall and winter, like I mm -hmm. do. Like, don't get me wrong, I love summer, but fall and winter is like my favorite. Yeah. I always say October first through December twenty sixth is my favorite time of year. Yeah. Um, and she loves those videos, and she always posts them. So so yeah, I feel like I feel like we have a connection, even though she's never met. <laughs> We've never yeah, met. <laughs> yeah. She. So if you could like film a video with her, you would be like oh, so down for sure. Oh. And I like I hate to be like that creepy fan that's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, can I film a video or can I have a picture? Yeah. yeah. No, but I totally would. I would. You would fangirl I over would her. I would totally fangirl. Actually, sorry, this is so oh. off topic. No. But <laughs> go for it. At the Teen Choice Awards, my dad and I's favorite show, other than Game of Thrones, is The Office. Mm -hmm. And Daryl, I forget what his real name is, but. His name is Craig Robinson. Okay. Is it okay? He was sitting like right here, like diagonal from me, and I like I. There was one Teen Choice where we literally took a picture with every celebrity we saw, and after that, I was like, I'm never taking yeah. a picture with another celebrity. Like I feel so crazy. Yeah. And I saw him, and I was like, what? I have to get a photo. I have yeah. to get a photo. So I did, and then funny enough, his niece asked me for a photo afterwards, so it worked <laughs> out great. I was like, no, I don't seem so creepy. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I love that. I mean, I think I love that because obviously you have a lot of fans so like but it's fun because you obviously still get starstruck but, yeah them. totally yeah are there any other times where you were just like super duper starstruck by people um I think just the other general, time yeah. I was at the UN for the International Day of Peace mm -hmm. and Leonardo DiCaprio Whoa. was in the room and he oh my gosh he's <laughs> so attractive in really? person yes Okay. His skin is like perfect and yeah. I'm pretty like I like to think we made eye contact. I can't remember if we actually did, but I just like like to think yeah. we did. Like to believe that. So That's so funny. I yeah, know it sometimes awesome. it surprises you like of who you're really like kind Starstruck, of taken yeah. taken yeah. aback by cuz you probably, you know, meet and see a lot of famous people and I, you know, I kind of do too. And so every once in a while there'll just be someone where you're like Oh, oh my god my oh gosh. my god like yeah. even if you were expecting it and you like see yeah. them you like still freak out i think anyone on game of thrones i would freak out about yeah that show is amazing yeah so what are some of your like what are your favorite kind of going back to zoella mm -hmm. what are her favorite kind of videos that she or what are your favorite videos that she does favorite videos she does like so much she does, she does so vlogs many. and she does makeup and like she yeah. is really versatile i think yeah she is i really love her vlogs for some reason like sometimes vlogs can be a little long so yeah. like skip some parts but for most for the most part i do like her vlogs i like um I like all of her makeup tutorials. Mm -hmm. I I can't remember if I'm making this up or not, but I think she does like candle, like where she like goes like on Bath and Body Works or Yankee oh, Candle or okay. something, and she'll order like a bunch of candles and she'll like do reviews, reviews kind of, of and, which I started doing. Yeah. And those are like my favorite videos. I am a huge candle person. Oh, but too. anyways, those are like my favorite makeup tutorials. I like her like um, what are they clothing haul where she just oh, goes yeah, to like yeah, a yeah. store and buys like a bunch of cheap stuff from like, like Primark or yeah. Primark or whatever yeah the yeah popular. yeah and she has a really cute style so I love like stalking her and be like yeah. mm, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow yeah I will say with candles that's one of my I I'm I think I'm a summer person I mm -hmm. love I do like fall and mm -hmm. winter don't get me wrong but yeah. like there's something that is nice about the holiday season Maybe but I summer. have to say I love um, fall candles. Fall candles. When you can get like a pumpkin. Oh my gosh! Candle I know. Or, my ugh. favorite is to like sit by the fire with like, I don't know, like a pumpkin or something mm -hmm. candle burning and reading a book. That's like my yeah. favorite thing to do. Ever. I think it's hard when you live in LA because I know it's, like, you, it's, you don't really get fall. That's so what it's, I love about. There's no like shift of like oh it's, it's fall, fall now. Yeah. Like it's just always hot. Seventy something degrees and you know, yeah. But. That's why I like I'm very conflicted about moving here because yeah. I need my seasons. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do get used to it though. I you know if you're from Pittsburgh mm -hmm. so I feel like your fur I've never lived somewhere that had snow like super regularly um I'm pretty I'm basically from California mm -hmm. but that first winter where you don't have snow I could see you being like okay I I will sacrifice seasons for like you know no having snow. it be mild yeah because to me I think what's so crazy about <laughs> we're talking about weather how fascinating is this? no <laughs> what I think is fascinating about like people who live on the East Coast and stuff is when it's snowing, and if you just want to run like one errand, 
I would hate to like I would not be able to handle like going out and like driving in the snow and having yeah. to like put all your like shovel your driveway and yeah. put on like that seems like so much effort. It is. That's why um yeah, it is a lot of effort, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, you're totally right. But it does make you appreciate summer even more. That's because true. when it does roll around, you're like, summer. That is very true. Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, there's two sides to it. Yeah. So we have this thing called social media horror story. Okay. And it's not as scary as it sounds. But <laughs> it sounds um, scary. it's, have you ever had a time on social media where you just had like a super embarrassing moment? Like the one example that I like to give, it happened to me somewhat recently and I've been telling it on the show, but I accidentally wrote happy birthday on like someone's wall that like I thought it was an old coworker of mine but it was someone who was like my sister's friend from high school who I probably haven't talked to in like over a decade she hasn't talked to him in over so I was like happy birthday and I'm like that is so awkward you know where maybe you like tweeted your phone number or like sent a tweet that was a DM mm. like stuff like that or you know requested somebody on Facebook that you didn't mean to <laughs> little little things like that um, and we can come back to it if you can't think of anything off the top of your I head. I can't but. think of anything off the top of my head because I'm super crazy like, oh, is this grammatically correct? Mm -hmm. And like always making sure what I'm posting is good and like I didn't accidentally post something mm -hmm. because I have like, I don't, I f someone tweeted about this one time. I forget who it was, but like another social media person. They were like, I randomly always check like tagged photos or like tweets about you because I want to see if like I accidentally posted something that like, like, I don't know, yeah. it's just like, you literally get like fear. You're like, oh my gosh, should I accidentally post something that I wasn't supposed to? Not like that you weren't supposed to, but like yeah. an ugly picture by accident or something. Yeah. It's always- I, I don't have any yet though. Okay, well that's good. What? Well, now I don't have any funny stories. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, you have plenty of time to, you know, <laughs> tweet out your phone number on accident or something. <laughs> oh um, gosh, actually my phone number has been leaked before. What? Did yeah. you have to change it? Yeah, I did. I woke up to like That's so rude. I know, it was pretty crazy. Like who does that? I don't know. I, it was, I woke up to a lot of texts, a lot of calls. I, it was bad. Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, so I know we mentioned Zoella, yes. but is there anyone else maybe in the YouTube space that you would love to kind of like collaborate or work with, even like on a dance video, on a regular video? Hmm. Dance video. Collab with. Oh, who did I? Um, oh, her name's Colleen, right? Miranda Sings? Mm -hmm. Yes, I oh. met her last night. She's really, really she's, nice. She's very sweet. Yeah, I would love to do a collab. Does she do collabs? Yeah, I think she, she has like yeah. cool, quite a few collabs. I mean, I've obviously heard of her before, yeah. but like I just never met her and she was like super sweet, super cool. So I would love to do a collab mm -hmm. with her. I interviewed her. So I used to work at team.com mm -hmm. and I interviewed her. We did this, um, we had like a documentary type series and this was like, she was still, you know, Miranda Sings, and she was pretty big at this point. It was sort of like, oh, this girl's like kind of big on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so we interviewed her, and I just remember her being so nice. Mm -hmm. And then I interviewed her at VidCon this year. So that was like four years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I interviewed her this year at VidCon. And I was like, I don't know if you remember this, but like I interviewed you for like teen.com, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, yeah, I remember that. So she either does remember that, or she was just saying she remembered it, you know? Cause sometimes yeah. it's like, you're like, I'm just gonna go along with it. Cause <laughs> if I say no, I have no idea what you're talking about. It might sound to me, but either way, she's great. That's, yeah. that's a good one. You yeah. could like do the red lipstick. And yeah, everything. totally. I love, love that. that. Um, and then also, so we have this thing called Click Bay. So Click Bay. is there anyone who like, obviously Zoella you mentioned, mm -hmm. but is there someone that like when they post something or a video or an Instagram, you like drop everything you're doing and you watch the video, you like the photo and you just like, freak out oh gosh um who do I do that to they're vi like YouTube videos YouTube videos Instagram, Instagram like anything that you're just like super into no but I do like I go on these I feel like everyone does this though like if I like find like an old friend that I haven't seen mm -hmm. on a, for a while like I click on their profile and then I end up like stalking them yeah, for super hours far back. and then I like somehow end up on like their mom's like yeah. cousin's daughter's post yeah. or something it's, it's really bad yeah. but i do you like, you do stalk yeah you star, stars are just like us they stalk on social media <laughs> <laughs> no but i like there's this this is so dorky but like my favorite author like i actually got her post notifications oh my gosh really <laughs> because amazing. she posts about her books all the time so like oh. i gotta keep up with the info yeah, yeah and so. it, you want to be the first to know if you know she's like i have this Totally. New book or whoever. So who is it? Like who? 
her. <laughs> she's gonna like one day. She's gonna like meet me. She's like, oh, you're that crazy one. <laughs> she probably. I've been like, I talk about her in like all my videos. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. No, you're fine. Um, but her name's Sarah J. Mass. She wrote the Throne of Glass series. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I see, she's not gonna think you're crazy. I can. Well, I can actually, <laughs> my uh, my book is with Bloomsbury, and mm -hmm. so is her book. Oh. So I feel like one day, like I'm gonna like run into her if I go ever go into the office or something, yeah. and I'm gonna be like freak out. <laughs> I'm that crazy one. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally lose my chill. Um, who is someone that you think everybody should follow on social media? Zendaya. She always throws, like, um, her speech at the Teen Choice Awards, it was really nice. She was, like, she just told all of us young ones to get educated and, yeah. like, s I don't know, keep updated with everything that's going on and, like, we are the future leaders. So I really, mm -hmm. I really appreciate her. Like, I like, I really appreciate people who, who use their voice for good and not just, I mean, I'm totally guilty of this. I'm, like, shaming myself right now, <laughs> no, but, like, no. shameless self-promotion. Yeah. I like people who also use it for good to, like, talk about bullying or mm -hmm. things going on in the world that they, be, like, believe Causes in. Causes that they yeah. believe in and yeah. that they think are important. Totally. Because so. it's true. I mean, if... If we have the power, we should use it. Right, and people obviously look up to her and look mm -hmm. up to people like you, so, you know, you want to be setting a good example, and that's, I mean, I think that's what she's totally doing. Mm -hmm. so. Um, so, I mean, you're on a reality show. Do you watch a lot of reality TV, or do you kind of, like, stay away from it? I don't really. I'm, like, a Netflix girl. Okay. But for the first time, like, a couple weeks ago, I was just flipping through this channel on a, in a hotel room, and, oh, like, what, what was it? It was, like, The Real Housewives of... If maybe Orange County mm -hmm. or something. I was like, what is this? So and I got into it. I was like, this is amazing. Oh, I, like, Real Housewives are incredible. Yeah, and I like, I just never watched reality before because I was younger and then I went on a reality show and I just really had no reason or right. want to. Sometimes if you're just like around it, you're like, why would I yeah, spend why would my free time <laughs> like, watching it? consuming it? Yeah. yeah, but then I started watching and I was like, I need to like go back to the beginning and watch this. Ugh. It's pretty Every crazy. So Hulu, pro tip for everybody out mm -hmm. there. Um, Hulu has every season of like every franchise of Real Housewives. So you're like, there goes the rest of my summer. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's really good. I Thank you highly that. recommend it. <laughs> that just and you'll have to bit. come back and we'll have to like talk about Yeah, Real we'll Housewives. have like a whole segment on just talking about <laughs> the Real Housewives. I let's do it. <laughs> um so obviously with you kind of were talking about like a little bit about like self promotion. So obviously with that comes a lot of social media you know there's Instagram there's YouTube there's all that kind of stuff is there one platform that you think is like a little bit tougher to keep up with than the other ones is there one that you find to be more difficult than the other <sighs> hmm. I guess it really depends because sometimes Instagram be can be a little tough when I do take when I do go home to Pittsburgh and I take breaks and I'm not really taking pictures I'm kind of just hanging out with my family or mm -hmm. doing school that can be a little tough because I have to keep up with social media because you're kind of just like present and in the moment and you're like oh wait i i i, I need to, pictures yeah. yeah so I, I always do tbts in those moments <laughs> but then sometimes i get like twitter blocks you know like mm -hmm. there's like reading and writing blocks i get twitter blocks i'm like i have no idea what to tweet and yeah. i kind of like pride myself on my twitter because i like to think i'm funny mm -hmm. on twitter mm -hmm. so i'm like oh yeah i haven't tweeted anything funny recently like if i if i have one of those days i'm just like oh it's a beautiful day or happy yeah. sunday or something random yeah. that nobody really cares about I'm like yeah. who cares about these tweets yeah. and then you get tripped up because you're like it's i think this is funny but like will other people think yeah, it's funny and then i get like i really like overthink it yeah. and then I'm, I'm like <laughs> i um i'm not like a huge person like oh how many likes or followers right. do i have but on twitter like i'm always watching the like button I'm like oh yeah. how many do i have <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um so we have this thing, one last thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll just ask you like a few last things that you did. And okay. You just answered them, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Who was, what was the last text message you sent? Do you know? Mm, probably to my dad. Yeah. Because I haven't seen him in like it, a week. It's funny, I feel like I, I should eliminate that question because a lot of people are always like, oh, it was like to my publicist, like who was here with me about like getting here. <laughs> so it's like not that interesting. So yeah, like, no, I've, yeah, it's probably, probably to my dad. dad. Like, can I love yeah, you? <laughs> yeah. Who was the last person you FaceTimed with? Um, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> my hey, dad. dad. Yeah, Shout well, out. because um, we were going to the Teen Choice Awards, mm -hmm. and he was at home with, like, my whole family. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I miss you guys so much. And then I got to go to the Teen Choice Awards. It was fun. That's, I mean, that's not so bad. Yeah. Um, what was the last movie you cried in? Cried in? Mm -hmm. Like, cried watching. Okay, cried watching. Oh, 
Does it have to be a movie or can it be TV It could be, show? yeah. What was the last, like, okay. thing that you watched that made you cry? I was watching The Office, and I was watching the last episode, and I started crying because it's over. Yeah. I'm such a dork, but I was I really upset. I loved The Office. So I like, did, too. I, did you watch all the way to the end? Um, No, but I did. Like, I watched the last episode ever, but okay. I kind of... Everyone stopped watching after Michael left. I, know, I'm I think guilty. I'm like the only one yeah. who kept watching. Who kept going? No, uh, but like when she took the picture off of the wall, yeah. I just started. I burst out it's, tears. Uh, it's like the first like three seasons of that show are just so perfection. Good perfection. What was? Uh, when was the last time you ate fast food? Mm, I think it was Chick Fil A like a couple days ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good choice. Yeah. Um, do you remember the last Instagram account you followed? Um, wait. Oh, yes. Um, oh, what's her name? Isabella Monaire. Is that it? How you say it? From I, Transformers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I followed her um, at the Teen Choice Awards because I, I saw her and I was like, oh, I love your dress. She was like, oh, can we get a picture? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, what was the last YouTube video you watched? Do you remember? Was it a Zoella? <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, honestly. I think I was watching a vlog. Oh, very nice. Yes. Um, so you mentioned you love The Office, but mm -hmm. it, what was the last show that you kind of just like stopped watching where you were like maybe halfway through a season or something like that and you were just like, no thanks, I'm good. Hmm. I didn't really get started, but I was watching Arrow and for some reason mm. I just kind of like quit halfway through. Or no, it. wait, um, Grey's Anatomy because I love that show, but mm -hmm. it's starting to like... Oh, it's so much. It, yeah, it, I like. I can't, I hate that I'm talking bad about it because it's like my favorite <laughs> show. I feel like I'm betraying it. You're fine. But I was like halfway through the season. I just kind of stopped tuning in. So I'm waiting for it to go on Netflix so I can mm. just like watch it all at once right. and not be confused. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, and what was the last show you binged? Hmm. Oh, Outlander. Oh, yeah. I've been like, I heard really, really good things. It's so good. Should I? Okay. Yeah, because I watched the first couple of, ep or I watched the first episode with my dad, and I wasn't a huge fan. And then I kept, like, I was like, okay, I have to watch the yeah. second one. I have to give it another chance. And so I watched the second, and then I watched the third, and then I ended up watching the whole season. And then I was like, I got really sad because I was going on a plane and I didn't have time to download the second oh, season. I was tragic. like, this is the worst. <laughs> but I stayed up that whole night watching it. <laughs> it's so good. And let me just say, the ma the lead male character, uh -huh. Jamie, like, fall I am in love with oh. him. <laughs> Dang. Okay, well, now I know what I, now that I have your stamp of approval, that will for sure be the next show I binge watch. Okay. Just tell um, me if you like it. Is there anything else like you have? I feel like we've covered most of the bases, right? We've, yeah, I think your so. Your show, your book, your everything. Well, so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, so thank you so much for joining me. And well, again, thank you for teen, having me. I was going to say teen mom, dance moms. <laughs> teen um, mom. Team dance oh, moms. <laughs> no, dance moms. <laughs> dance uh, moms. Yes, it comes back August 15th. It's on every Tuesday, Lifetime, tune in. Where can people find you if they don't know where to find you on social media? On social media, I'm Chloe Lukasiak on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat is official Chloe L. It's pretty easy to remember. Yeah. Um, and we're at instant.me. Make sure you follow, subscribe, rate, and review, all that good stuff. Um, this was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Sorry I couldn't talk in the beginning. You're fine. We we, we warmed you up and now yeah. you're fine. My brain is like <laughs> still in sleep mode. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> all right, thanks guys.